In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix no sound or headphone issues on your ROG Xbox Ally X. It's a very simple method, so if you find this video helpful, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. Now, it can be really annoying when you're trying to play games or anything like that, and you're not getting any sound. That could be really stupid, especially when you don't know why. So what you want to do firstly is head on over to the command center. Now, it's a very obvious one, but sometimes whenever you switch your operating mode, like if I go to performance, as you can see, my brightness has changed. So whenever you switch from like silent to performance to turbo, your volume and your brightness can also change depending on what it was last at. So if you just recently switched, go ahead and check your volume and just make sure it's actually turned up because sometimes you might be playing on silent and it might have been on mute. That's why, you know, you can't hear anything anymore. So that's the first thing you want to go ahead and check and then everything else should be fine over here. Now, what you want to do, is just press your Xbox button, go over to your settings. From here, what you just need to do is go to Bluetooth and then just firstly, make sure if you want your speakers from your console to be used, turn Bluetooth off because it might be connected to speakers or headphones or a headset, anything like that. But if you're using like AirPods or anything like that, you all you have to go to is manage devices once Bluetooth is on. Then from here, I'd recommend using a mouse, by the way, in Windows mode. But if you don't see your device here, all you got to do is press add device, then just add whatever device you have. For example, if it's like an audio device, click the first option, make sure it's in pairing mode, and then it should work. If that still doesn't work, what you could do once it's over here, like in devices and it says connected, you can disconnect it and then just go to add device again, then you should be good. Now, whenever you go back, all you got to do is hold down the Xbox button, then just go back to the Xbox app and try play whatever game you need. Also, a simple thing, if that's for some reason doesn't work, it might just be a very simple bug and you might just have to restart your console and then you should be good to go. But if you found that video helpful, be sure to drop a like and subscribe.